Okay, Dr. Nick Raz, we're talking about uh, mirror image exercises. Okay, so they're exactly what they sound like, uh, postural distortions. Um, they they uh, interfere with the nervous system and how it functions, and they're typically created through either trauma, big or small, like posture repetitively, things like cell phone use, or how we end up using the mouse or whatever we're doing. So um, a mirror image exercise helps strengthen postural muscles, small muscles around the spine to help to hold a better pattern. So as we adjust and traction uh, these postural distortions out of you uh, and you're aware of them and you're working towards going to center, these are gonna help increase the strength around those tissues so that you can hold these patterns better. So it's, very sim it's a very simple process in terms of a mirror image. If you've got uh, this distortion, you do the opposite of that. So one of the most common distortions in the world, uh, especially in any, any uh, Western modern technology country, is forward head posture, anterior uh, cervical translation, anterior head translation like this. Okay? So a mirror image exercise for that would be the opposite, head retraction, posterior head translation, just like that. Okay? So it's very simple. Uh, you're going to do this. Uh, we, we start off uh, slow because if you're not used to this, these muscles can be deconditioned and it can be painful or uncomfortable the next day. Usually doing it the first time doesn't usually hurt, but sometimes depending on how out of shape your spine is, it can be uncomfortable. You shouldn't have intense pain with you when you do a mirror image uh, exercise. Uh, it, it should be therapeutic. You want to use about 70% of your max force, so it's not a full-on contraction. You're using 70%. Um, you got to do this consistently. We start you off uh, somewhere between, you know, usually around 30 seconds, so three sets of 10. Okay, that's a good starting point. We want first check off is to get to 100 seconds. Second is 200 seconds, so about two and a half, three minutes. Or sorry, three minutes or so. Um, if you have a really gnarly, as uh, the doctor term, if you're really uh, intense or uh, large postural distortion, we may give you up to three or four minutes of uh, exercise for that. So it can be a left head translation that we ask you to do right head translation consistently. So you build up to you know, four or five minutes, depending on what that is. Uh, you can do them in sets of 10 seconds, or you can do them straight through. Um, you can do them in the car. You can do them anywhere you are, depending on what it is. Obviously, if it's a rotational one, don't do that in the car. Uh, but you can do this or this in the car. I do this all the time because guess what? I live in a world where we do this stuff all the time. And I bend over people and I'm just, uh, so. I do this one in the car, usually on both ride back to and from home for a minute or so, two minutes, something like that. It usually feels good too, it stretches up there. So um, they are used as part of that stool of correction, okay? And they're an important part of your care and consistency is the key. Usually results from these mirror image exercises take about two to three months for those muscles to build up enough strength and hypertrophy enough to be helping with that postural correction. So get on them now, stay on them every day obsess about them a little bit and we're going to make some awesome changes okay so these things help hold better posture better posture equates to better health health is freedom for you and your life